In this and the next few lessons, we will go over a few more complex RC circuits. In this scenario, the capacitor is initially uncharged. We then close the switch. Immediately after S is closed, what are the current in each resistor and the charge on the capacitor? When we close the switch, we make a change to the circuit. Immediately after we make a change, the charge on the capacitor is the same as before. Because it takes time to charge or discharge a capacitor, it takes time for charges to move onto the plates or to move off the plates. It takes time to change the charge on a capacitor. Since the capacitor is initially uncharged, Immediately after the switch is closed, the charge on the capacitor is still zero. And since Q equals to CV, Q being zero means the voltage across the capacitor is also zero. This means we can pretend that the capacitor is like an ideal wire just at this particular moment. And this circuit is like this one because a wire can also allow charging current to flow, and there would not be any charges. And since V equals to IR, with an ideal wire's resistance being zero, it does not matter how much charging current flows through here, the voltage is zero, just like an uncharged capacitor. In this equivalent circuit, the wire shorts out the 3R, so no current flows through 3R. This is called a short circuit, because when a resistor is in parallel with a zero resistance wire, current only flows through the wire and not the resistor. Because these two are in parallel, so they get the same voltage. Since V equals to IR and the, the wire has zero resistance, R being zero guarantees the voltage to be zero. And that means this resistor will get the same zero voltage, which means it gets zero current. So there is only current in this loop, which means the current would be the VO divided by one R. How about a long time after the switch is closed? What are the current in each resistor and the charge on the capacitor? A long time after a change is made, the capacitor has either finished charging or finished discharging. So there is no more charging or discharging current. There is no more current in the capacitor segment. So we can cut the wires here and there, and it won't make any difference, because there is no current flowing through these wires anyway. With the wires cut, the circuit is equivalent to this one. So R and 3R are in series. They get the same current. The voltage is VO, and the equivalent resistance is R plus 3R. So the current here is VO divided by 4R. As for Q, it equals to CV. So we have to find this voltage. Although we could cut the wires and it won't make any difference, of course, the capacitor is still connected here. To find the voltage across the capacitor, we can just find the voltage across the 3R because they are in parallel, so they have the same voltage. To find the voltage across a resistor, we just do V equals to I times R. The current is VO over 4R, and the resistance, of course, is 3R. So this gives us 3VO over 4, and that's the voltage across the capacitor. So this gives us the, the charge on the capacitor. Now, after the switch has been closed for a long time, the switch is opened at t equals to zero. 
find the current in each resistor and the charge on the capacitor immediately after and a long time later. Please also plot the charge Q as a function of time and find the total energy dissipated by the resistor 3R after the switch is opened. When we open the switch, we make a change to the circuit. Immediately after we make a change, the charge on the capacitor is the same as before because it takes time to change the amount of charge on a capacitor. Before we open the switch, the charge was 3 fourths C times VO. So the charge on the capacitor is still 3 fourths C times VO. Since 3R is in parallel with the capacitor, they get the same voltage. And the voltage across the capacitor is Q equals to CV, so the voltage across the capacitor must be 3 fourths VO. So 3R gets the same voltage, and the current is the voltage 3 fourths VO divided by the resistance 3R. So the current through 3R is uh, VO over 4R. With the switch open, there is no loop for current to flow through R, so 1R gets zero current. With the switch open, the battery is disconnected, and this current comes from the capacitor discharging through this loop. For the charge as a function of time, we have an exponential decay from the initial charge, 3, 4, C times V, O, down to zero. How about a long time after the switch is opened? 1 R will still have no current. And the capacitor will be completely discharged, so Q is zero. And there is no more discharging current. So without the battery supplying energy, the capacitor will run out of charge and energy, so there is no more electric activity. As for the energy dissipated by 3R after the switch is opened, we can use conservation of energy. After the switch is opened, the capacitor provides energy and this resistor consumes energy. All the energy stored in the capacitor at T equals to zero got dissipated by this resistor. So this equals to the energy stored in the capacitor at T equals to zero. And the energy stored in a capacitor is one half QV. At T equals to zero, the charge is three fourths C times VO, and the voltage is three fourths VO. So this equals to 9 over 32 C times VO squared.